Hi guys, welcome back to Watch With Veer. In this 3D series, we're going to be learning on how to create a chatbot with Chatterbot, uh, complete with a GUI uh, that we are going to make with TK Inter. Uh, today, we're going to be learning on how to create the basic chatbot code using Chatterbot and be able to respond to it using the terminal interface. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is I, I would like to show you a quick um, example here. So this is what the code, the finished code will look like. It's um, going to be a minimum 84 lines. And what we and I'm going to run this code by typing in Python cb.py because that's the name of my Python file. And you'll see this loads up uh, now if I type in something here like hello and then I click on this enter button right here it'll give me a response in this box here so that's what we're going to be doing in this 3d series um, this is in this in this 3d series uh, today what we're going to be doing is having that happen in the terminal interface here. So let's uh, get right into it. So first I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it tutorials for tutorials. Select the folder and then it'll open up a folder in uh, Visual Studio Code. And then now what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and name this main.py, enter. Now it'll open up the editor here. Now what we want to do is, um, well, before we import Chatterbot and OS, uh, we want uh, we want to go into the command prompt. And we, you want to type in pip install chatterbot. Um, if this comes up with an error saying pip is not available or uh, if it doesn't come up if it comes up with an error saying um, no variable named pip or something like that type in Python and if you don't have Python then what you want to do is you want to go to Google Chrome and go to or whatever browser you have and go to python.org and download it uh, and download the 64-bit version of Python for whatever operating system you have um, I'm running it off of Windows that's why I have command prompt so I'll go ahead and I already have Python installed on my Mac on my Windows so I'll just go ahead and press enter and it if this and yeah okay Okay, so I have now installed pip, it went through, it said um, requirement, uh, if it says requirement, for me it says requirement always already satisfied, that's because I already have it in, I already have it installed on my Windows, then what you want to do is you want to go pip install chatterbot dash or plus, and then enter okay and uh, chatterbot corpus has the has the requirement of using pyaml 3.13 so if it gives you just this error here in red ignore that oh, that's fine no we and then once you're done that you can close down uh, terminal or command prompt 
then for the first line what you want to do is we want to start importing our modules so go from chatter bot dot train nurse import list trainer then the second line you want to go from ch uh, chatter bot import chat bot and on the third line you want to import OS. We'll get that to that later. Then make a space and then uh, create a comment. Uh, comments in Python are with the hashtag symbol. Uh, comments in JavaScript are the uh, two forward slashes, but we want a hashtag that'll um, define the comment. Then you want to write uh, train the you don't have to put this comment, I just like doing this because it makes it a little bit more organized uh, for your code. Uh, then what we want to do is, um, underneath it, we want to define the bot. So bot equals, so bot is a variable, uh, chat bot, and then in this we name our uh, bot something. So, for example, we could name it test. Uh, I'm going to create, call it uh, tutor. You can make, you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm just calling it tutor because this is a tutorial, not really a test or anything. Um, then what we want to do is then we want to define the trainer. So we go trainer equals list trainer and then you pass in the um, bot so we go bot and then next and then we're gonna add a for loop and then for underscore aisle um, in this is why we need to input uh, OS uh, OS stands for operating system so for underscore file in os dot list dir and then um here it, we need to end pass through a folder so uh say let's call it txt for like the txt file extension and then that should be in quotes enter colon and then enter then what we want to do is we want to create a new folder and call this txt click enter we can we just need that we can have it empty for now then enter here and go create a variable called chats equal open and then uh, quotes and then type in the folder name, which is txt, then forward slash, uh, plus underscore file, um, call, uh, then Um, a colon, I think? No, an apostrophe. Then we want to go in quotes again. R, that stands for to read a file. Then you want to, outside of the parentheses, you want to go dot read um, lines and then a pair of parentheses. And then, um, then you want to write trainer dot train and then pass through the variable that we just created uh, called chats so that'll train the AI then um, now what we're gonna do is we're on under the txt folder that we uh, first what we want to do is save this 
Python file. Okay, then what we want to do, uh, why is this under to do? Okay. okay. And what we want to do is create a new text file under here called um test dot txt and then what we want to go at uh right so here we're going to be creating the uh the different files that will give back that will check your um input and double check that with these files and then it'll so what these uh so what will happen here is when you input something it will well first what will happen is when you run um main.py this will be run uh this will run and that will train the chatbot and when it trains the chatbot it will create a database in the format db dot sqlite three and that uh, that database will contain all the text files that are in the folder called txt so then when you then uh so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hello is the user input and then we could say hi i am hi uh apostrophe this is a test and oh what is your Uh, and then I'm just doing this. Okay, I have to, I had to put that there so I don't get copyrighted. And then save this, and then we'll go back to main.py. You can close this tab down. And then what we're gonna do is we created a for loop. And now we're gonna create a while uh, loop, and then while, and then. Above this, we want to create a variable equal to true, and that way we just go D and enter. So that's while true, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, um, two variables uh, re request, and that equals in. Put and then in quotes you go view because that's your that's the user and then response equals then response equals bot dot get um response and then we're going to pass in the variable request and then we're going to print response or print and then bot bot and then apostrophe response okay so that is it for the basic code for the uh, Python for a Python chatbot using Chatterbot. Uh, in the next uh, video, we are going to oh, in the next video we're going to be looking at how to create a um, we're going to be looking at how to create a basic GUI, uh, not for this uh, code, but so that we can take to create another GUI that uses the types of things that we need for our Python, uh, Python chat bot and yeah before we uh, before I uh, stop this uh, video 
uh, I'm going to uh, run this code for you to show you what it will look like. Now, we only have one um, test. We have only one file. Uh, so it will only it won't be the best chatbot to be to create more so and over the next two days we will create um, more text files and make a fully operable chatbot that you can talk to using your keyboard and mouse okay so terminal and VSC is taking forever to load so just open up CMD and let's go to CD LS is list then yeah then what we want to do is go to where is it Tutors. So C D T U T U R S. Now we're gonna list this and then we're going to go Python main dot P U I and hit enter. So it'll load up and it'll, it'll say and it'll show NLTK data and this is the uh, this is the list trainer right here. So that list trainer will tell us um, that that the uh, text file is being put into the DB dot SQLite three. And if we look over in the VSC, we can see that two new files have appeared in the uh, folder uh, that we're using called Tutors, and that's the uh, DB dot SQLite three and the sentence underscore tokenizer dot pickle. So then we go back into uh, CMD. This video is getting a little long, so I'll quickly up, hurry up and do this. So now if I go, uh, and then I'll stop the video. So if I go hell, uh, hello, click enter, it'll, bot, it'll show bot, hi, this is a test. Then I can say, oh, what is your favorite song? Warrior song by the fat rat and then that's all for today and then that's all I will be able to go through because there's only those hello oh th hi this is a test oh what is your favorite song warrior song by the fat rat okay <clears throat> so that's it for today um I'll see you next time thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed please leave a like on this video subscribe to my youtube channel comment down below and also don't forget to check out my personal website at www.virsing.ca my shopping website shop.virsing.ca and my blog blog.virsing.ca thank you for watching and i hope you had a nice day